Okay, there we go. Okay, bring it down. Calm down. Zen. Zen. Okay. <gasps> okay, Mario Maker 2. Oh, th those aren't slopes, though. Oh, thank God. Ah, yes. Oh, those are slopes. They did it. They did the slopes. <laughs> I can't believe that's what they fucking start with. Like, look, we got slopes now. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm so happy. Ah, yes. Huh? Oh, this game is gonna be so amazing on the Switch, dude. And it's just two, okay. Oh, whoa, they added... Oh, it's so dope. Oh, wow, really? What the hell is that? Oh, it's like... What the hell? What? A 3D land theme? What the fuck? Holy crap. Dude, that's rad. That's sick. Dude, that's sick. Oh my god, dude, I'm just giddy. I can't even... <laughs> I can't even form proper fucking sentences. This is amazing. Bitrate's going to shit. Whew. Okay, yeah, okay. That's good. That's June. Hi everyone. Oh hi. I'm Yoshiaki Koizu, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Ah! Starting off great. Okay, good. You just got your first look at the brand new sequel to Super Mario Maker, which we're of course calling. Sorry. Super Mario Maker okay. Two. Yes. Two. There will be brand new features. And many new elements are in development as we speak. Oh my god. So please stay tuned. Oh, I'm gonna stay tuned. Don't you worry. Alright. Next, let's cover today's Nintendo Switch headlines. Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh, okay. Okay. That's, um, what is it? Ultimate Alliance? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Original story. Assemble your ultimate dream team from a huge cast of I've never actually played any of the Ultimate Alliance games. They didn't really seem too, like, deep or interesting. Oh, maybe I'll give this one a shot. Oh, that's cool. That way the camera isn't constantly, like, spread out. But then again, you need, like, four switches to do that. Of course. She got a movie! Gotta promote that shit. Hmm. Whether you join forces with friends locally or online, take teamwork Wait, online? Oh, okay. As you creatively combine I mean, I know that's obvious today, but like, whenever I hear Nintendo and play online, I'm just like, wait, hold on, what? The team of possibilities will be off the charts. Yeah. In Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, the Black Order launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch this summer. All right, all right. He's well, Box back, Boy. Box He's boy. back. Get ready to unload some boxes oh, for the Switch. Yeah. The critically acclaimed puzzle series That's good. I never actually tried these on the 3DS, the so time. playing them on the Switch will be fun. Tightly packed with tons of content, including brand new puzzles and new features. We fit something else in, too. Oh, they're also probably bringing that amiibo over now that people have been like, I want it. Because it's like $300 to buy it from Japan. Solve puzzles. And, and co-op stuff, that's also- that's always nice. After completing the story, you can access a whole separate- There's Rectangle Boy. Beauty, Long Boy. Huh. In all, there are 270 stages to beat. That's the highest Damn. in the series to date. Use your brain boxes to think outside the box- I don't think I got a brain box. Control. Box Boy and Box Girl will unload on Nintendo Switch April 26th. Okay, okay. The ultimate spring update. What the hell? I don't know what's going on. Why are you gonna show 
is about to spring forward. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What are we adding, you ask? Oh god, we put Joker in. Have to wait to find out. Oh, you assholes. Remember. Don't. <gasps> Joker is a part of Challenger hey! Pack 1. He's secretly been preparing for battle, and his moment will finally <sighs> come before the end no, of the Don't just show that. Words, come on. This year, springtime is the time to smash. Oh my god. And don't forget. New Super okay, Smash cool. Series Amiibo. That's great. Is that all we're getting? Just his back? Oh my god. Oh, my heart. No. It's just his back. Okay. For a journey through the maze like miniature worlds of the Captain. They add new stuff. I completely just blacked out for a minute. Switch version. A free update. All courses will support two player co-op. Man, they're Maybe just Captain adding two-player co-op to fucking everything. Inside. Two heads are better than one, and an extra set of hands goes a long way. This free update will be available later today. Oh, and okay. Some paid downloads well, I don't have it. Coming. We're adding in 18 new challenges that'll see you traveling to five new courses. Huh. From sunken ships to a kingdom of sweets. And achieving new objectives in I do like that they're, like, just adding new stuff to their older games. Captain Toad I'm just waiting for more Mario Kart tracks. <laughs> Who knows, man? We'll get them. Alone or with a second player. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker special episode will be available for purchase as soon as, well, later today, huh. giving you early access to one of the courses. The rest of the content will launch on March 14th. Okay, well that's not too far away. If you don't have the game yet. Look out for a digital bundle available. Uh, digital Nintendo bundle. Later yeah. today. It contains the full game. Oh, physical, though. It gives you access to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker's special episode once it's available. Oh, there's that one. Old school action in an all new gothic castle. The side scrolling action of yore shall rise once more in bloodstained ritual of the night. And so, the young lady Miriam, host of the Alchemist's Curse. Oh, it is looking better and better all the time, though. Gifts. To slay the demons wrought by the curse. Because the first time I saw it was like, really? That's what it looks like, but that's because it's like very early. With but this is looking powers, really nice. She can steal the abilities of enemies, bend gravity to her will, and dart about Jeebel's castle at lightning speed. Huh. Here, the laws Laser. <laughs> and 2D side scrollers don't apply. Throughout the castle, a treasure trove of side quests. Damn. Deadly tasks. Okay, this looks really Small nice. Flesh out the campaign. Your body is covered with weird decorations. Or beyond the main story, <gasps> you can dig deep into character customization, subquests, and more. Stop the fall huh. of man at the hands of demons, and don't be afraid to show them your dark side. Damn, that's ritual of the night. Wow. Emerges from the shadows this summer. That's way more like dynamic than I thought it was going to be. The time has come Dragon to Quest build a Builders. And take on the children of Hargon. Well, it's a good thing that I don't Man's really care. Go ally yourself with the mysterious Malrock and defend your world from monstrous forces. Enlist villagers to help rebuild and fight alongside you in the story mode. Or unite with three other builders to create your own island in local co-op or online. You'll gather materials, craft objects and tools, and reach new heights by building any structure you can imagine. Now you can dash. This kind of looks like a more fun version of Minecraft. Because there it seems to be like quests and stuff. And warp all over the new retro inspired map. Huh. If you own the previous game on the Nintendo Switch system, you can craft a legendary builder's outfit and the dragon. Wait, is this a new? Oh, it's two. I thought it was going to be like new stuff for the first one. Huh. There are That's good, I guess. To come. But first, a word from Mr. Koizumi. Oh no. What's he gonna say? Well, how's it looking? Looking now, pretty good. We have a new announcement for that classic RPG series. Please take a look. Wait, what? I don't know what we're talking about. What's going on? There are RPGs, and then there's Dragon Quest, the series that defined the genre. And the latest entry is charging onto Nintendo Switch cool. in full force. I've never played a Dragon Quest game before, so battles, with the most I don't know. Scope and story in What's this already on the Switch? Was it? I, I can't remember. For no one does this ring truer than the Luminary, the boy that prophecy says will succeed the last hero and protect the world from a terrible end. In an odd twist of fate, 
The boy's royal birthright is snatched from him. Oh, no. On the day he becomes an adult, he finally discovers his true heritage and the powers that make him the luminary. When he goes to the king of the largest kingdom for guidance, he is dubbed Darkspawn. So begins the perilous journey of a hunted hero, and the ragtag band of adventurers who will join him on his quest to set things right. Together, they'll explore the towns and terrain of the sprawling, detailed land, Erdrea. Monsters roam free of random encounters. When you engage them, choose your strategy wisely in turn-based battles. You must know when to attack, when to heal, when to use magic, and when to switch your I mean, I like a good RPG, so maybe I'll check it out, but probably not. It kind of depends. Crafting? No way. Not in my RPGs. Looking for an item? Then help people out in side quests. Or try your hand at the casino. Oh no. Gambling. Erdrea is full of surprises like these, and this time, the player has the power to choose on the fly between the land's gorgeous HD vistas and the 2D 16-bit glory of old. This is also the first version uh, excuse of the game me? fully orchestrated field and battle tune. Can you play the whole game in 16-bit? Excuse me? You can change between the original sound and the new huh. one you want. And you can also experience the journey with English or Japanese audio. Oh, yes. Perfect. Oh, no. I feel like this would do more for me if I was like a fan of Dragon Quest. I'm not. First time players and veterans should also look forward to new stories. Each sees one of the main cast members stepping into the spotlight, shedding new light on hidden truths. This hero's adventure has truly leveled up. Wow. <laughs> Dragon Quest that's, that's a title. Echoes of an elusive age, definitive edition. Launching exclusively on Nintendo Switch this fall. I'm sure it's good. I'm sure it is. While we just announced the addition of these new stories, there will be more new information to share in the future. Okay. But then now. Please look forward to learning more. For now, let's continue with more Nintendo Switch headlines. I mean, wasn't that also a headline, though? Like... Aren't these all just headlines? What the fuck? Oh, no. seen before. Not these fucking things. These stuffed Disney toys took the world by storm. Oh and no. Now they're ready for an after hours party. Not at the, the beans. Toy store in Disney Soon Soon Festival. Only Disney. Play with your friends and family in a wide variety of competitive and cooperative what the games fuck? that support up to four players. You can play online okay. as well with players from around the world. Is Sora gonna be in it? <laughs> And you can't mention Disney Tsum Tsum without talking puzzles. What the f- what? Connect matching Tsum Tsum to clear them and set a high score. Okay, I- uh, yeah, mm-hmm, sure. The game also features a two-player mode for local and online competitive matches. I like that they're actually, like, doing something with, like, the vertical Disney screen. Tsum That's Tsum interesting. Steal our hearts in 2019. I already... I don't care. <laughs> picking up a distress oh, call boy. in the Atlas Star System. What are they gonna add? This time, it's far from friendly. In fact, it's none other than Star Wolf's Oh, really? Oh. Andrew Oikini, Pigma Dengar, and the Great Leon. Now Peppy, Falco, and Sloopy have no choice but to hunt them down, like the animals they are, in a challenging new series of missions you can only find Exclusive. In Starlink Battle for Atlas. Well, it's a free update. Of the Star Fox team has their own I heard this game is kind of boring and grindy, so that's why I didn't really bother with it. But again, it's called they're adding game. stuff. It's time for a game of seek and destroy. But don't expect Wolf to play fair. Look forward to news I wasn't. of the rest of the additional Star Fox racing? Starship races and faction missions. There it is, that's what they're working the on. Star Fox team joins the Starlink Battle for Atlas update this April. A heartfelt fantasy adventure crops up once again. What is this now? 
Oh boy. Oh, those are some polygons. Against monsters. Interact with townsfolk daily. Grow vegetables and fruits at the farm. Cook some fish. Hey, what? Cook up a storm. Is it pizza? Is it make a pizza? Raise monsters. What the this fuck? This fantastical circle of life will keep you coming back for more in Rune Factory 4 Special, fully remastered for Nintendo Switch. Wait, what's this? It's like a game that's already come out. I don't know what this is. Who's that? Long, you may become more than just friends. <gasps> Romance? Heart pounding newlywed life has no a way. For you, exclusively in this new version of the game. Rune Factory 4 Special will be ripe for the playing later this year. I'm sure it will. And. And. We can finally confirm oh. that Rune Factory 5 is in development. I like how there's more info five of these, and I've just now heard about this series. Soon, That's amazing. The time will come to slay what a time to be alive. You lost souls before those souls become monsters. In this action RPG from the developers of I Am Setsuna and Lost Sphere, step into a realm built upon the tenets of reincarnation. Its people lead repressed lives, forbidden to mourn the loss of loved ones. To uphold these tenets, Kagachi must travel between the living world and the beyond to rescue lost souls. What is this, 2002? Becoming monsters. Light and dark world? When battling these creatures, the lost souls you've rescued can manifest with that Todoroki? Granting you new powers. It's not half his head was red. That's probably just the shadows. You must choose the right soul for the situation at hand. In this deep single player campaign, hmm. there will be many battles. You will fight, and you will become stronger. Those who fall to will I, though? are lost, and the lost don't reincarnate. The very foundations of reincarnation will begin to crumble when Oninaki launches in it's too many. It's too many RPGs. It's just too many. Cars, oh, yeah, there it is. In a world of craft. You know I said I was going to scream, but it's probably not a good time for that. Here. This time... We'd like to put the many facets of these crafty courses on display. Do we have to, though? As Yoshi, okay. I, I guess we're going all in. Race solar cars. I mean... And tear through the sky on a plane. Nice shot, Yoshi. Hey, that robot's pretty huge for a miniature. Like, I'm not you saying scale, it doesn't look fun. But I don't know why I'm just so disinterested. Crafted costumes. Apple juice box? If you wear one, it'll what offer the fuck? Protection from enemies. Excuse me? There are more than 180 of these costumes. And some of them can be tricky to get your hands on. <laughs> okay. You can only get this if you bought the Labo kit. Let's you play through the first course. Oh, okay. That's cool. The Yoshi's Crafted World game will finally hatch. Yeah, it's also not too far off. We have more Nintendo Switch headlines coming up, but first, Fire another Emblem. update from Mr. Koizumi. Oh man, how's it going so far? Next, you keep asking that. Up on the latest installment in one of our long-running series, oh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Oh boy. Please have a look. Oh boy. Oh boy. That looks different. Could have brought you here. Uh, Nintendo stuff. I, I want to watch it. The title looks nice, though. The continent of Fogland, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. Oh boy. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000 year old dynasty. And they're all gonna have their own story. Beyond its borders, I mean, if they do it the right, north, then that's cool. Is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Vargas, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodland and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Okay. Relative harmony. Oh, 
In the Fire Emblem Three Houses game, you are the hero the world needs. She's cute. You start out as a mercenary. Put her in Smash. Led by your father, Geralt. After an unexpected incident reveals an unknown power hidden within, you'll travel to Garrick Mock. I wonder what it is. Where you'll receive an offer to teach at the Officer's Academy. Around that same time, you alone begin to see a mysterious girl named Sothis who appears within your mind. That's never a good thing. Garrig Mach Monastery lies at the center of three large territories. Of course it does. It is the home base of the Church of Seros, the main religion of Fodlan, as well as the Knights of Seros. Not only does the church serve to maintain order in Fodlan, its monastery also houses the Officers' Academy. Those who train there will go on huh. to shoulder the future of Fodlan. Hello. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses. The Black Eagles is for students. We Harry Potter now. Empire, Hi, Edelgard. House leader and future emperor Edelgard. Gonna put you in the Blue smash Lions after this. Boasts Prince Dimitri of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus as its house leader. This house is for students from his kingdom. The Golden Deer is for students from the Leicester Alliance. Okay. Their house leader is Claude, who is the heir of Claude. the noble family that leads the alliance. As a professor, you will lead the students of one of these houses. I don't know if I'm qualified to be professor, honestly. Leaders, there are many other students to meet, each with their own unique personalities and skills. Which house will you choose? Uh, I mean, probably Edelgard's. Students are expected to travel to various lands, sometimes with the Knights of Seros themselves and gain real battle experience, including everything from defeating bandits to suppressing rebellions. These may be class assignments, but the stakes in each battle are very real. Whether your students live or die will depend on your leadership. Strategize or if I'm playing on casual or not. <laughs> At the Officer's Academy, your students will work diligently each day so that they may wield a variety of weapons. Hmm. Master the study of magic. Hello. Oh no, and she's cute. Oh fuck. God damn it. She wear the hat. You have been entrusted with their future, and it's up to you to Wait, guide what? each of them and help them hone Fucking their abilities. claws? Through combat experience and study, you can help your students reach their full potential. Hmm. Your students can also interact with each other at the academy. Yeah, they fucking and better. So, their bonds will strengthen, and they'll be able to better support each other on the battlefield. But can they have babies and be put in time portals? That's the real question. Fire Emblem Three Houses will release on July 26th. Okay, cool. All right. That's soon enough. Oh, uh, not a Warfare Edition. Oh, no. So, how does it look? Originally, we announced that Fire Emblem Three Houses would release this spring. But more development time will be necessary. Oh, well, yeah, of course. And so the new release date is July 26th. That's fine. Wasn't ready for it anyway. We'll have to ask you to wait a little longer. But we hope you'll look forward to the next generation of Fire Emblem all the same. Looks cool. Definitely. Time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh boy. What else could there be? In this next entry of this iconic series, the last player standing wins. Fucking Tetris. 99 players. What the fuck? But only one reigns supreme. <gasps> Tetris Battle Royale. This oh my god. Tetris 99. <laughs> what the fuck? The iconic puzzle game arrives with an online experience like no other. 
Nintendo Switch Online members can battle for dominance in this free-to-download game. It's free? Okay, well, if you're definitely. Garbage, attack back to defeat the other 98 players and become the sole survivor. That's insane. Nintendo Switch Online members, be ready to join the fight. Available now? Oh, okay. Available for download later An official today. Tetris product. Look forward to battling it out in upcoming online events. Hmm. Huh. Prepare to kill, survive, or die in Dead by Daylight. Okay. Imagine this. Uh, you're alone, struck by fear, uh, struggling to survive. Uh, and then you meet another survivor. Oh, no. Oh, no. Too late. What the, the hell? The killer is upon you. Now run. Boy. Hi. Oh, boy. Scavenge for items. Open the gates. I think I've ever cared less in my life. Or take on the role of the killer to make the so-called survivors your next victim. Like, I'm sure it's good, but... Terrifying? Oh, yes. Ugh. Satisfying? Just you wait. With loads of maps, characters, and cosmetics... All these earn, iconic characters. A deep like that guy. While you're on the hunt and that dude. Hunted, and, and that one. the true meaning of horror when Dead by Daylight creeps up on Nintendo Switch this fall. Okay. This dog will ruin your day. Well, I haven't, so I'm not allowed to read this. Oh, it's coming to the Switch? Okay. But this is like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. Oh man, false advertising. Can't believe it. Okay. Will not be free. Okay, that's fair enough. I'll give it a tryout. Yes. Prototype missions. Damon X Machina. Is there a demo for this? Hello everyone, I'm Kinichiro Tsukura, producer of Damon X Machina, and I have some news for you. Later today, they'll be releasing a demo called Damon X Machina Prototype Mission yes. on Nintendo eShop. Um, thank you. The game is still in development, but in the demo you can battle through four different missions. While it's Fucking sweet. ...and customizations of your personal mech known as an arsenal. You can also experience a boss battle in the final mission, so please try it out. Alright. I fucking will. After playing the demo, we'd like to hear your feedback. We'll be conducting a short online survey by sending an email invite to some players who try out prototype missions. Alright. If you weren't selected for the survey, we also welcome your feedback via social media. <laughs> <laughs> this game fucking sucks. I hope you make this game the best it can be. We have more to say about Damon X Machina, so please follow the official Nintendo of America Twitter account so you can stay up to date on the latest information. Damon X Machina should be launching this summer. Okay, it's still no solid release date. With that in mind, I like the that. Team is working hard, oh, the demo's cool. So please stay tuned. Definitely gonna try that out. Realistic racing is headed for Nintendo Switch. Oh boy, my favorite. Grid Autosport comes fully loaded with a mix of high-speed thrills. Believe my favorite kind of racing, realistic. That scales to your skills. Ugh. You'll feel like a pro racer as you master the world's fastest cars to win motorsports' most exhilarating races. <laughs> Look at them go. Exhilarating. To the narrow city streets of Barcelona. All of Barcelona. With 100 cars, 100 circuits, and some welcome additions like motion controls and custom controls. Okay. Players can race online or locally, and two players can race split screen on a single system. Wow. From street racing to demolition derby. When Grid Autosport speeds onto Nintendo Switch in summer 2019. Cool. Enter the Viking Age to experience oh, yeah, that one. Senua's journey again, or for the very first time. Created in collaboration with neuroscientists and people who experience psychosis, Hellblade pulls players Fun. deep into the mind of Senua. This broken Celtic warrior will embark on a haunting vision quest through Viking Hell to fight for the soul of her dead lover. Hellblade has won multiple awards, including BAFTAs for performance, audio and artistic achievement, 
British Game and Game Beyond Entertainment. Find out why when Hellblade it looks really cool, but also Nintendo super Switch depressing. <laughs> the Nintendo Switch lineup just keeps getting stronger. We can't stop. Help us. Mortal oh, there we go. Proves the saga 25 years huh. of the telling is far from over. With all new custom character variations, plus new characters and returning veterans taking up the fight. Just some gameplay? Because it didn't... Oh, adventure, okay, you know, just not. Sees players take control of two adorable Yarnies. Oh, huh, control I thought... Yarnies hmm. on your own in single player, or play with a friend in local co-op. For some puzzling platforming fun, when Unravel 2 comes to Nintendo Switch March 22nd. For the first time on Nintendo Switch, experience Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered with revamped gameplay and features tailored to the system like motion aiming and touch input. Set okay. In the American Revolution. Explore one of the most iconic eras in history as you fight for freedom. Yeah, like I don't really care about Assassin's Creed, sorry. Of a nation. All the original downloadable content, plus the entire standalone game, Assassin's Creed Liberation Remastered, will be included when they launch the PSV game? What the hell? First. Final Fantasy fans. Better open your calendars. We're excited to announce that Final Fantasy VII will find its new home on Nintendo Okay, that's Switch March also 26th. March. Ugh. We can also announce that Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon, everybody will release on yeah, March Yeah, but where's Poe? Come on, Mystery We're Dungeon. We're to announce that Final Fantasy IX will journey onto Nintendo Switch later today. Wow, really? Once a classic, always a classic. I've always wanted to play that one. That's all for today's Nintendo oh. Switch headline. Depends on how much. How's everything looking? Well, we have a bit more to share in this Nintendo Direct. A bit Please stay more? with us until the end. What are you gonna show? Let's take a look. What are you gonna show, Nintendo? What is this? What the fuck am I looking at? What the hell is this? What? Uh, yeah, let's fucking go. Holy shit. This looks sick. Dude, what the fuck is this? I, I want it. I just want it all. What the hell, dude? Oh, dude, they... Robot dogs. Robot dogs, guys. Please, robot... Why does this look like Xenoblade? Why am I getting Xenoblade vibes? You people are leading all of humanity straight to damnation. Straight to damnation? You're the terrorist here! You don't understand. My heart goes out to you too. All because of how you were born. What the fuck? Doomed to be used. Yo, 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 yo. Shame to your fate. Powerless. Today has been most revelatory. Finally, we're ready for the final stage. What the hell are they? Why did you make them? Oh, Hideki Kamiya, what the hell? What is this? Astral Chain? Okay, now I, I thought it was Xenoblade. <laughs> I definitely thought that was Xenoblade, but... Oh, it's Platinum. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. Yep, no, I want it. I want it now. What you just witnessed is Astral Chain, a brand new action game in development at Platinum Games. It looked like two characters were fighting together during battle, didn't it? I hope you're excited to learn more about how combat will play out in this game. Please stay tuned. And speaking of Platinum Games, I'm sure you're very curious about Bayonetta 3. Yeah, kinda. Rest yeah. assured, the developers of Bayonetta 3 are hard at work. Okay. I hope you're looking forward to Thank more. you. Not Our today, though. Will be the last announcement of the day. Please check it out. Get me, get me good. Give me something good. I hear bubbles. What the hell is this? What am I looking at? What am I looking at? <gasps> the 
Uh, yo? Fuck off. Are they remaking Link's Awakening? Oh my god. Dude. Dude. It's gonna be 2D. It's just gonna be like a fucking top-down 2D Zelda. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. My god. Dude. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> He's so small. Look at him. Oh my god, what the hell? Not the look I was expecting. I'm so happy that they're like still making top down Zeldas and the Goombas. Nineteen. That's this year. Oh my god. Whoop. So, what did you think? That's pretty cool. At long last, 1993's Game Boy Classic, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, will find new life on Nintendo Switch. After 26 years, it has been reborn as a new experience, and we'll have more to say in the future. Please look forward to its release. So look That's all forward to a lot of stuff. I think so I can. For watching. Whew. Oh my god. Well, there was a lot of different stuff. Jesus. Definitely not the things I was expecting. Kind of... Uh, Metro Prime Trilogy wasn't there. A lot of the stuff people were actually expecting wasn't there. So that's interesting. Got to see Joker's back, though. It was a nice looking back, but like to, you know, see more. Ah, well. I'll, uh, talk to you guys later. <laughs>